of founder St Peter Julian Gaymard who is known as the apostle of the Eucharist for a strong devotion to Jesus in the Holy Eucharist and for leading both clergy and lay people to recognize and to discover the significance of the Eucharist in their daily lives. He shared with others his own belief that the Eucharist is the chief means of progress in the spiritual life. The manna which nourishes the soul in the desert and supplies the strength for the journey of life. To say about St. Peter Julian Amard, he was born to a poor family in Lambure in the southeastern France near Grenoble. From early childhood, he led a holy life and demonstrated an intense devotion to the Eucharist. God called to Peter Julian to religious life at an early age. However, his father insisted that he takes over the family business instead and refused to give his permission to allow Peter Julian to enter the priesthood. When he did eventually enter the seminary at the age of 18, he became so sick that he was sent back home to die. However, Peter Julian made a remarkable recovery and entered the seminary once again at the age of 20 and was ordained to the priesthood in the Diocese of Grenoble. All his life, Peter Julian had a deep devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God. Just five years after his ordination, he joined the Maris. During his years as a Marist, he exercised his love for the Eucharist by preaching the 40 hours devotion in numerous parishes. Then, in January of 1851, he made a pilgrimage to the shrine of Our Lady of Ovia. There he promised the Blessed Virgin Mary that he would found a congregation of priests dedicated to Eucharist adoration. Later that year he established his community of men, the congregation of the Blessed Sacrament. St. Peter Julian Amart died in 1868 and was canonized in 1962, one day after the Vatican's second superstition. All his life, he only breathed Eucharist, not anything else. As in Paul says, before Christ, he considers everything as rubbish. Saint Peter Julian also similarly says, until we have a passionate love for our Lord in the most blessed sacrament, we shall accomplish nothing. As we celebrate the Eucharistic celebration in which God abides in us really with his presence, let us also take the grace and celebrate every day the Eucharist in a worthy manner. 
as participants not as spectators may st peter julian amart inspire and pray for us and for our journey of life